Hi, my name is Julia Genoviva, and I am one of the producers for Love Complexities, uh, Marvin's Fetish, and Jackie and Clarice. Hello, my name is Alan Baxter, and I'm the co-producer of the play Love Complexities. And here's the other producer of the play, uh, Marvin Korb, who's here with me. And Love Complexities is a very successful workshop production that we did at the El Chemical here in New York City. And the momentum behind this production is so great that we are on the verge of moving the show into the Broadway area. Uh, Jackie, the guy that's always looking for the big scam, the big, uh, the, some, some, some kind of big, uh, unconventional way of making a living. I, uh, the whole experience was like a joy for me. It was a lot of fun. Jackie is just a fun guy to play. Um, but at my f what I really like about him is that no matter how much he's been kicked around by life, he still has the capability of caring about people. And that's a really an endearing part of Jackie's personality. Uh, uh, an agent for change in Clarice's life. And that's, is, 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 is a sad and is, is happy and is, it'll yeah. make you laugh. It'll make you laugh yeah. and it'll make you cry a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, which is what life is about. But I guess if I wanted them to take something away, um, it would be just never lose hope. Never lose hope. I have a question. Uh, yeah. I, do you want to talk about your past reviews that you've had? Oh, the um, we got a great review in Boston, and um, we got a great review in L.A., and then we just got another um, really yeah. good review in, in New York. Yeah. Well, what inspired me was uh, life in high school. Um, for, most, for most people uh, who go to high school, they are bullies, and they are Mr. and Miss Popularity. And I wrote Marvin's Fetish with closure in mind because so often in life there is no closure. Relationships end, people leave, people die, and very rarely is there closure. With Marvin's Fetish, I wanted these two high school friends, or should I say frenemies, to get together and tell each other how they really feel, things they could not did not have the courage to do in high school. I mean, and the whole thing about, about theater in general is that it, you, you want to remain like authentic to the piece. And so, I mean, like I said, even though he's a little bit you know, out there and, and I, I don't want to judge that, I want to be able to be as authentic and natural as, as possible. And so there's so many beautiful things to that. I mean, even though I can relate to being, you know, interested in, you know, either, you know, men or women or whatever, I can bring that, but I still don't, I, I also want to be as authentic to the, 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 the bad parts, the, the scary parts, even though if they aren't as real, real to me. Um, also, what I love about the writing too, it's so, it's so effortless. With all the characters, there's a struggle, there's an inner conflict that they're trying to suppress, but comes out and they show each other. And the thing that moved me the most was the way the audience was captivated by the play. Um, these two plays, Marvin's Fetish and Jackie and Clarice, they share a theme, and that theme is, it's love. Um, the characters struggle with finding love within themselves and being able to find it from other people. So in both plays there is that exploration. And on top of that, each character is going through their own uh, personal struggle, inner demons. Marvin Korp, who's a uh, co-producer and has been around quite a bit and is very experienced, has taken an interest. And why don't you say a few words about it? Uh, yes, I have taken an interest. As a matter of fact, I saw these two shows twice at the same theater on 14th Street. And I thought they were excellent, and they, they really deserve to be up here, and that's why I'm going into this. I usually don't invest, but in this case, I feel like this is, can go all the way, including a little further up than off Broadway, could possibly go to Broadway. Uh, the stars, fantastic. 